Okay, so to install and activate your Olaflay eSIM, you're obviously going to need to buy one. So if you haven't already, then you can do this via the link in the description box that will take you directly to their website and just make sure to use our discount code for an extra 5% off. That's also an affiliate link. So by using it, you'll be supporting myself and the channel. Now this is really important. Before we install and activate, make sure you're ready to start using your eSIM because Olaflay's data plans begin the moment they're activated. Also make sure you have a stable internet connection the process is going to take a few minutes and if your internet drops then the installation may fail and finally don't delete the eSIM from your device until you've finished using it because once it's gone you can't use it again to start visit your settings and click mobile service or cellular and tap add eSIM here we can either scan enter manually or if you have ios 17 use a screenshot of the qr code manually will be the most time consuming although it's still pretty straightforward but you'll have to go back and forth copying and pasting information. Let's just go ahead and scan the QR code as that's the most convenient way. Once scanned, you just need to tap continue. At this point, it should say activating and eventually connecting to network. Now try to be patient because it can take a few minutes. So just leave your phone and don't close this window. Once that's finished, it'll say mobile plan setup complete and you can just tap done. Now here we can see our primary SIM. That's the one we usually use and also our new Olafly eSIM that's currently labeled travel. Firstly, let's rename this. So tap on travel and then custom label and set it to something that's easy to identify. I'll just call this one Olafly hyphen France and then tap done. Next, we want to hit continue and then select our default line. If you want to keep using your normal number to receive calls and texts, then select primary. I always choose to keep my primary SIM as the default line in case of emergencies or if I need to use two-factor authentication. But doing this won't stop you from being able to use the Olafly eSIM to make or receive calls. In fact, if you bought one with this feature and depending on your phone and operating system, you may be able to assign a SIM for a specific contact. For example, on my iPhone, I can add a contact and then choose to use the Olafly eSIM for that particular person or business. You can even tap this button before you make an outgoing call and choose a specific SIM. But do remember that not every Olafly eSIM has a number, so double check before you purchase. Now, once we've selected our default line, we tap continue, and now we have the option to keep receiving iMessages and FaceTime calls to our normal number. Here, I recommend selecting primary. There's really no point turning this off because your phone will use the data from Olafly's eSIM to make and receive iMessages and FaceTime. Now tap continue. And finally, we just need to select mobile data. If you want to start using your eSIM immediately, then select Olafly. This will also switch mobile data off on your regular SIM, but you can also change this in settings afterwards. So if you haven't arrived at your travel destination, let's say you're still at home, then keep this as your primary SIM, and then I'll show you how to change it manually shortly. I'm going to want to immediately start using this eSIM, so I'll select Olafly. And also, this is important, make sure allow mobile data or cellular switching is toggled off. If this is on and at any point you have a weak signal with Olafly, then your phone may attempt to revert back to using data through your primary SIM. Finally, just tap done and the eSIM will be installed. Now we've installed our eSIM, there's just a few things left to do. Go to settings and if you originally chose not to select Olafly as your mobile or cellular data provider, then you first need to tap mobile data at the top and select Olafly. Again, just make sure allow mobile data switching is toggled off. We now want to go back and select our primary SIM because we're going to first toggle data roaming to off. That way we have peace of mind that our regular SIM won't be using any data. And if you want even more assurance and you don't need to receive texts or calls, then you could toggle turn on this line to off. That will disable the SIM entirely. So if anyone calls you on that number, they'll go straight to voicemail. Once that's done, we go back and tap on our Olafly eSIM and toggle data roaming to on. That's going to activate it and your phone will begin to use it for data. You could also check data mode. Here you can choose between these three. And because we have unlimited data with Olafly, we could select allow more data on 5G and really get our money's worth. Finally, check network selection is toggled to automatic. If it isn't, this would show you a list of network providers that are available, but you're better off just letting your phone choose the best one. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the installation. And if you'd like to learn more about eSIMs and other providers, then check out Manito's Ultimate eSIM Comparison by clicking here, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.